I didn't quite know what to make of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon when a friend showed me it on his computer. I thought it was either an April Fool's gag or a mod some imaginative coder in his bedroom had made for Far Cry 3. Four weeks later it turns out it's real and I'm playing it after attending a launch party for the event thrown by Ubisoft themselves. In case you're still confused, Blood Dragon is a standalone game you can download and it uses the Far Cry 3 engine to throw you into a brand new post-apocalyptic world of neon, 80s cliches and cyborgs wearing motorcycle helmets. Straight away you realise the tongue is firmly in the cheek of this one as you take on the role of Rex Colt, a Mark IV cyborg voiced by Michael Bean of 80s sci-fi action hero fame. He's well cast as he spits out rhetoric with his squad which, if you're a fan of films that you originally watched on VHS, you'll appreciate greatly. You can tell that this game is still basically Far Cry 3 underneath but there's enough changes here to make it warrant a buy. You'll get at least six hours of enjoyment out of it. Pirates have been replaced by cyborgs who explode in a shower of blue goo when you shoot them, dogs have been replaced by cyber dogs, and by far the most silly and cool thing in the game are the blood dragons themselves, 12 foot tall beasts that change colour and can't detect you when you're crouched, and run to fetch cyborg hearts as if they were sticks if you lob one to distract them. Gameplay is familiar if you spent time trying to kill Vars in Far Cry 3, you roam the map by foot or vehicle, attack outposts, liberate bases, and do side missions. Along the way you can then upgrade weapons and abilities, but it's good you start off with a massive arsenal of guns from the start so you can jump straight into the action. The colour scheme is also nuts. It won't be to everyone's tastes, but the red, sky, purples, oranges, blues and pinks sort of work. You'll also love the soundtrack if you're a fan of John Carpenter movies or are quite partial to a bit of Jean-Michel Jarre. All the kids say, who? The joke may wear a little bit thin as you progress through the game, but it's still a solid, enjoyable shooter that will pass the hours indoors when the sun's not shining. It gets an excellent 8 out of 10. Objective complete. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com